Hello guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel that is post myself Ajay and I hope you all are doing great. So guys in this working video, I'm going to show you Angular 14 login and registration forms or any other kind of form with validation working demo. So guys before showing you working demo and code, I will also share the code snippet link inside this video description and also Please watch the video till the end and please subscribe my channel for latest angular updates so guys here we go okay, first I will show you working demo and guys also I have used booster 4 booster 5 for better looks see here is my two form fields and one button now it has been disabled first I will fill the first name like aj and last name Kumar. And see guys the button has been enabled and also we will get the values like when submit see first name ajay and last name kumar now i will show you the validations now i am delete the first name value see guys first name is required and also the button disabled again and so guys see the validations are working fine and now I will show you the code very simple here is my HTML code very simple here is simple form label input and the main thing is the input I have declared ng class with some checks is valid submitted and first name errors same for last name and also for the showing the these kind of validations very simple see and if when submitted and after submitted the first name dot error then it will add the class invalid feedback and also one more validation and if f dot first name dot error required then first name validation text will be shown and here is my app dot middle dot is five the main thing is we need to call the reactive form modules for this and also here is my component dot ts file for this we need to import form group form control validators and form builder all are have their own properties like for form group I have declared the first name and the last name form control and for validation purpose this form builder dot group I am calling the validations like if first name is empty then validation required same for last name and this is my getter f inside it will return the controls and on submit if the form is invalid then it will return all the controls else submit it true then we will get all the things so guys have you seen it's very simple like I said, I will share the code snippet link inside this video description to so get the code. And if you will have any kind of query, suggestion or requirement, then please comment on this video. Also, please contact me via my blog. I will share all the details inside this video description. Friends, in the end, I must say thank you for watching this video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.